Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Back with my segment, Ego Weight Watchers, aka Ew. Why I look into the fighter's lifestyle, especially if they have a fight coming up before after progress pictures, let you know what type of shape these fighters are in. Now, a fighter that does not have a fight on the books, but I felt compelled to make this video, and I made another video about that, and that's Tyson Fury. So, Tyson Fury, just to give you guys a backstory in case you live under a rock, haven't heard, Tyson Fury beat Klitschko November 2015 first person to do that in nearly a decade and he believes he was ostracized and the public condemned him for beating Klitschko and they were on some kind of witch hunt as a result he made some bad decisions and he was supposed to rematch Klitschko there were rumors that things in his camp weren't going smoothly Tyson Fury wasn't training hard maybe suffering from depression the fight got pushed back and postponed then it was supposed to happen I believe in October of 2016 and it was revealed that Tyson Fury failed his drug test with cocaine or the ingredients of cocaine in his system it was present in his system and then I think they did a B sample test and that failed and he failed another test on a separate date showing that he had cocaine in his system he did an interview with Rolling Stone and it was like a tell-all. He says, yup, I was on cocaine. I didn't give a fuck about living or dying, basically. And I need to get help or whatever the situation is. He did the noble thing, vacated all of his belts except for the ring belt because I don't think they could strip you for that um, for testing positive. I think it's kind of like engraved with your name and whatnot. But all his other belts, they got spread out. Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz fought for a belt etc right there's another belt on the line for joshua klitschko and that's thanks to tyson fury for surrendering his belt you know what i mean he said okay i got things that i gotta worry about and now he's on the way to sobriety and, and trying to get clean now that is pretty much catching you guys up tyson fury was somewhere at some kebab store or a restaurant and I guess maybe, uh, I don't know who this is. I don't know if it's the owner or worker or if it's a customer, but somebody noticed him and they took a picture with Tyson Fury. Obviously, you know me, celebrity. And the picture hit the internet, leaked on the internet. And it's concerning because you've seen it in the thumbnail. You see it on the screen now. And Tyson Fury looks huge. He looks like big. He, he looks like a like a mob boss or something like I don't know the Sopranos or the Godfather. You new kick every time I see you. Hey Vinny, hey Vinny, hey buzz on. <laughs> like I don't know what is up with with Tyson Fury, but the dude looks pretty big at the moment, right? And I know he has a large frame in general. Pause. He's nearly seven feet tall. I think he's like six ten. This is concerning. Now, it's his off season, so I don't know what he's doing. He's not necessarily having to train for a fight or whatnot. But the reason it's concerning is I just seen him recently, right before Deontay Wilder was to face Gerald Washington. His first initial opponent, Andre Wawowski, failed a drug test. And Tyson Fury was commenting to Deontay Wilder. I think I made a video about it on Twitter. And he's saying, hey, you're a bum. I'll fight you. I just need five, five weeks to train. The lie detector test determined that was a lie because wherever, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty good with the eye test and he's he's pretty big. He's big right now. You know what I mean? He, okay, he's a guy 6'10". Here's a little comparative just to give you guys an idea. The picture you see on screen right now is Tyson Fury in his last fight. So that's November 2015 against Vladimir Klitschko. They came in almost around the same weight. Tyson Fury weighed in at 112 kilos, right? So that would translate to American pounds to be about 246, just under, 24, just under 247 pounds. And this was the type of shape he looked like. He looked lean, mean, he looked like he was in good shape. So if he was 247 right there, 
he looks significantly bigger now. I mean, his height's not going to change, but he, he just looks big. And I've seen some other recent pictures, so he's easily three something. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I would even say maybe even 400 because it, it's hard to tell without like a full body shot, but I can tell the dude is, is big. But I mean, the reason why it's concerning, like I said, it's not that he has a fight, but I thought he was cleaning up his act to come back to the sport. And you don't want to have fat camps and you don't want to abuse your body to the limits. You have to keep in mind, Tyson Fury did not lose his titles at the hands of another fighter. He lost by the man in the mirror, right? He is undefeated in the ring. So I don't want to see a fighter put themselves in a predicament to the point where it's like irreversible or they end up getting stopped or end up losing or looking shitty or suspect because they tried to push the envelope too much. And weight is a huge thing. I mean, some guys could get away with it for some time, but as you get older, more often than not, weight, if you don't regulate it, will come back to, to bite you. You know what I mean? You look at guys like Ricky Hatton. They used to call him Ricky Fatten. And you see these pictures in his off season where he would balloon up. Then he fought Floyd, got knocked out. Fought Pacquiao, got knocked out. You know what I mean? Because you got to look at guys like Floyd and guys like Pacquiao, for the most part, they're always in shape. They're always pretty ready. You know what I mean? They stay pretty close to their fight night weight in their walking around off season. You know what I mean? Their walk around weight is close to it. So even if you're a skilled fighter, a good fighter, how are you going to beat somebody who's 100%, 110% dedicated and staying in shape and you're not staying in shape? And now I'm not saying that's the only reason Ricky Hatton lost to Floyd or lost to Pacquiao. And I don't want to get sidetracked on that. I'm just saying that doesn't help your case when you don't manage your weight, point blank, period. On top of that, we haven't seen Tyson Fury in the ring since November 2015. On top of that, he had some demons and troubles outside of the ring. So all of that plus coupled with the fact that you're not really controlling your weight and how much you weigh is it, just kind of alarming to me. Again, I've seen Tyson Fury kind of fluctuate with weight in the past, but this might be an all-time high of what I've can recall seeing him at he looks pretty big he looks he looks damn big and i mean i understand he's a is a big guy in general but the other thing is with 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 guys who who move too much in weight sometimes it can affect your style like a lot of people don't really realize and this is not a diss video you guys can leave crazy comments but i'm not out here just trying to to deconstruct tyson fury i like tyson fury i think he's good for boxing but I'm a realist too. And the thing is, sometimes if you gain too much weight, it could compromise your style. It could slow you down. And like you've seen it, like even like guys like James Tony. James Tony, he was always naturally gifted, always had good reflexes, even when he got bigger. But he was probably faster when he was fighting Roy Jones and in the smaller weights, you know what I mean? Like middleweights and stuff like that, as opposed to getting bigger, even though he carried speed that other guys didn't have a heavyweight and stuff like that but it's 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 not a good look man in heavyweight there is no subdivision it's just your heavyweight and a lot of these guys in the top five are knockout artists Deontay Wilder knockout artist Luis King Kong Ortiz knockout artist Anthony Joshua knockout artist Klitschko certified power and he can knock you out doesn't always push for it with his style but it is still the same, you know what I mean? And and why lose to a guy that you might be able to beat? Like Tyson Fury, a lot of people sleep on this, but he can box. And he moves pretty well for a big man. And that's what gave Klitschko all the problems in the first fight. Is because he was doing these feints and this this kind of like loose herky jerky, like <laughs> and his rhythm was hard for Klitschko to get a gauge on and if Tyson Fury just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, we don't know how much of that he's going to lose in the process. And like I said, he can box. He could box. So I, I don't want to see his style suffer from just constantly adding pounds and pounds. Like, even though it's heavyweight division, I mean, guys like Wilder, 
Gerald Washington even, you've seen him. Those dudes are, they're weighing 226 to 250-ish, but they're athletic. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to, you don't want to be sluggish in there with, with the guy. And that's just because you put on too much pounds. And, and there's, even though he has the frame where you hold weight different to talk, because I'm a tall guy. So we hold, tall guys hold weight different. Like it doesn't look as bad as if you're like 5'1 and 240, but it's still not, it's still not good. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, these are top level elite level fighters professional fighters in the top tier that i'm talking about and most of these guys are training hard so usually the person who lets themselves get out of shape and stuff is going to have the harder road natural skill and ability and instinct and stuff that's going to take you so far but there's a part where physically you have to be able to pull the trigger too and taking a long year plus layoff doing coke and poisoning your body with stuff like that and on top of that gaining weight i don't think that's really a recipe for anybody to have success maybe some people can get away with it like tyson would party and um abuse his body he even said in in his documentary that before one of his fights he had an std and he's like yes yeah, i was i was walking in the ring and i was burning i was burning my i would pee and it was it was like flames were coming out of my dicks like you know what i mean but i don't recommend it you know what i mean i'm a realist and i don't think that's even if people can do it you're not you're probably not going to be the best you period you know what i'm saying zab judah talked uh extensively about how he used to party very skilled guys, you know what I mean? Some of the most skilled guys in the world. Imagine if if Zab Judah was doing all that partying and he was still competing with the Floyd Mayweathers and um, Baldemir's and Corey Spinks and stuff like that. Imagine 100% non-partying, fully dedicated and disciplined Zab Judah. He might be able to beat Floyd or whoever he lost to, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully Tyson Fury draws a line in the sand and gets it together but he's looking mighty huge you know what i'm saying he's looking like i said he looks like a a character from gta or some shit like <laughs> please do not cut my cock off <laughs> it's, it's crazy to see that you know what i mean because I'm, I'm telling you a lot of these guys these king kong ortizes wilder a lot of people say this and that about wilder but people shut him up then you know what i'm saying people are like oh he, he's he's throwing windmills and he's doing this but he's still knocking everybody out also except for Bermain Stavern and he hurt Bermain Stavern and I think in the first round and it should have been a knockdown so you still have to find a way around that right hand and that left hand and that power you know what I'm saying and I'm just telling you I'm not much of a betting man I mean but I do sometimes do a friendly wager and I can't pick Tyson Fury to beat any top person under these conditions if he's not taking care of himself because I know that despite all the talent he may have and in, in boxing ability and height and reach and all this I can't pick somebody who's one foot out and one foot in versus a guy like Anthony Joshua everything I can see is he's dedicated to his craft and staying in shape and eating pretty disciplined and stuff like that and then the wilders and stuff they're not doing this with their body i never seen no pictures of joshua wilder or joseph parker or anybody like that get crazy out of shape and and stuff like that so hopefully tyson fury man it's a reality check because he's talking like i want to fight deontay wilder and that's a great fight that's a big fight and boxing is fortunately for tyson fury boxing is probably one of the only sports in the world where you could do crude and foul things you could cheat you do all kinds of stuff have coke in your system and you still might have a job you know what i mean no other job in america is probably going to do that if if i worked at home depot and then i failed a drug test they did a random drug test on everybody and i failed for cocaine twice i probably can't come back to home depot but boxing whether you're margarito with the hand wraps you could still get a payday with pacquiao and then get a kodo rematch you know what i'm saying you could uh test positive for steroids or coke wait some suspension and come back so that's the thing tyson fury there's still a market there's still big fights out here there's david hayes fighting tony bellew this weekend he could fight david hay if he wins or i don't know if bellew would want to fight big ass tyson fury but um 
there's that option. You have Joshua Klitschko. You have that option, the winner of that fight. That's a huge domestic fight, huge heavyweight fight. Anthony Joshua is looking like a powerhouse. If he beats a certified name like Klitschko, that's the best name on his resume. And Joshua has been knocking everybody out. So if he does beat Klitschko, it will probably be knockout, which Klitschko ain't been knocked out in like nine years probably. So that would be a huge fight. Joshua, if he beats Klitschko, knocks him out or something. Versus the guy that beat him on the scorecards, Tyson Fury. And they're both from the UK. You know what I mean? So cut all this witch hunt crap out. And you can't feel sorry for yourself. You have to get back on, on your horse and, and saddle up. And I think Tyson Fury, the reason like I'm saying all this is because I want to see him come back. And I want to see him. I'm a big fan of underdogs. And um, I don't always agree with Tyson Fury. But I don't always agree with anybody. And I think there's interesting fights. Wilder fight. I would love that fight. There's a lot of interesting fights for him. So hopefully he gets it together. Ego Weight Watchers, let me know what you guys think of Tyson Fury. But he's looking mighty huge in this recent picture that just leaked. Drop that in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Can he come back? How does he come back? Guess his weight. I don't know how much he's weighing, but he's looking pretty big. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.